boxer is a step, step punch. It's not a jab. It's not a lunge punch. It's not a reverse punch. It's a step punch. You just close the distance and just, just you see an opportunity. They drop. You don't want to get a thing. You want to be able to hit and hit hard. So you're going to step in. Oh, yeah, you're going to save them. So, okay, that fist is coming in. But we go, we, we just uh, redirect it ever so slightly. And then this hand is going to keep it redirected, raise it up, step. We're going to hit ribs, boom, pass through. Here, we go top, step, and then throw down. Okay? So, what I need you guys to do, let's go through all the way. So, 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 so he steps in. So, so he steps in. So, Step under, here, okay? This you're doing great here. The first two, bam, bam, doing great. Okay? This hand, you're gonna push this down and then, then go for Come around here so you can see. Okay? Stay there. I'm gonna step on behind here, okay? So, first move, we don't like that, so we're like, tight, put, here. This hand has already pushed this down and comes back up, and then we slammed it, we slammed it here. If his elbow's in the way, that's okay. Watch. Okay? He's still going to get the slap. Boom! Then you step right up here. See what's happening to this hand? Right here. Here, here, then the face. Okay? Hear that? How many slaps are you here? Good. Pull that to you, right here. Like I said, to your shoulder and your own chin. chin. Boom. Now he's going to practice this fall. So look how easy this is to throw you. Are you feeling like I'm throwing you, or are you falling on your ass? I'm falling on my ass. That's exactly the point. Excellent. Do it again. Go. Two. Hoop. Ribs. Hoop. Now step, face. Push, and die. Nice. You want to see how big guy fall down so easy? How much do you weigh? 152? 140 something? How much do you weigh? 220, 140, 220, 142. Why he fall so easy? Because gravity's doing all the work. Yeah. So the rule is the bigger they are, the, they fall. the math works out. It turns out to be true. Do it again. Hey. Breathe. Huh. Step, face, good, and go. You need to work a little more on getting the space down. So we'll give you an example. So, so you stepped in, right? This is what has to happen. And if he's tall, this hit is going to knock the head right toward his boom. Both of his side. And then step and see how easy you get down. Right. Thank you, sir. Stop. Got each other. Step in again. Slap face, step throw. Slap face, step throw. Again. Have fun, Mark. Ah! Hey! Hey! Oh! Hey! You're just, like, you're just trying to do it all at one time. So it's. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so. Ho, ho, ho. Slap face. Slap 
face with his hand stepping up to slap face because he's tall. Right. Slap throw. But there's a part in there where I feel like pretty free, like there's not a lot of control on me. That's right when you're switching into the. Yeah, you don't want that. Yeah. Okay. How's that, Art? Okay, right, next. Now you know why we have to have a group. And we need, we need up somebody to throw in order to make our techniques good. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Okay. Okay. Mark, come on back. Uh, come on up here a second. Okay. Can we get the group out? Just like it. Thank you, sir. Is that you, during that moment of transition, he is going to have that window of opportunity. Okay? So what we're doing, and you want to roll it out a little bit, and you want to control your abdomen, breathe. What we're doing is, is we just done, we've done ribs, and we do back ahead, okay? Just in case your neck was having trouble before. And then, then we hit the cost of cartilage, okay? That, stay with me, is going to prevent you from taking the opportunity. And you're not going down because we get so. That's where we cause that whole point of getting this strike in is just so while I get a step, I don't want him thinking about anything but getting air. All I need is hoof hoof. That one moment, that moment, you feel that pause. Okay, so click. That's all it takes. You even see the hand come to your face. Now, that's the beautiful part. You guys are getting that, right? This prevents him from even seeing that. Because if you go like this, can you see the hand there? Do you understand there's a difference? If I come up here and I go, can you see the hand coming? Not enough of a distraction. This is not going to hurt much today. Later more. <laughs> but you're going to see it right, right here. Okay? You got sternum. What do you, how do you know what a sternum is? Because it's right about here. See the elbow? It's going to be above the elbow. Okay? You got throat. Well, it's right straight down there. And then you go right off to the side. Whoa, look at that. Right underneath the pad. Boom! And you're going to hit that cost of cartilage. Drive it in. So it's this palm, palm heel smash. And that's going to keep them from being able to sense that action, which is the throwing action. Okay? And the step is just to put them off balance, which makes it really easy for him to do that. Right. <laughs> okay? okay? At 220, you're just you're as easy to move around as a feather is. Where's my go? What's up? Okay, hit each other about. Thank you, sir. Do it again. Kick that up. And again. That's it. Slow. Good. So you can get the pattern down. Do it again. Don't throw. Less throw until you get the pattern down. Okay. So cross. Then cross. Okay, not the hand. So going slow. This is sometimes pain. Right. Okay. He comes in. So going slow allows you to do things that you wouldn't normally be able to do. If he picks up the speed pump him before you, we're going to have to do this. You're not going to be able to grab him like this. So don't. Just, this is good. Because what you want to do is redirect step under and hit there. And then take care of it. And if he turns here, guess what? I don't have to step. You understand? Just the sense of hip But just the sense, if I miss here and he turns his head and I get back, guess what? I don't have to step with this leg now. I step with the other leg. And he falls down just as easily. This is why being aware of that in process is so critical. Okay, gentlemen. Thank you. Okay. That's it. Slow, good, palm heel, face, face first, then step. If you don't get the face, because remember, remember what I just demonstrated? If his face doesn't get to the position you need it in, then your step must change. So don't commit and go, oh crap! Because watch this. He's here, he's here, boom, boom. Right? I get this, that hand goes down, I get this slap in, everything's good, but this guy's a tough guy. I mean, he's been 10, 15 years training with me out. He can take that. It's nothing anymore. So I'm like, crap. So then I go go get the face, turn your head the other way, boom, because he's getting ready to spin out of it. Step forward with that leg, and elbow me, spin, boom. Can you understand how if I, I hit him that way? That's because he's already crazy to get hit here. So he's just going to go snap, bam. So it's just, okay. All right. But, watch here. Now, I catch him here, right? He goes to turn. 
And at least if he doesn't fall and catches himself, I'd at least get distance. Because I can't recover from that. Does that make sense? But if you commit, right? Height, he turns his head, he's going to be elbow. Bam! I'm toast. Man, and, and my foot's here. So what's happening is now I'm getting elbowed. That elbow turns into a throw. I'm getting thrown on my ass. So this is so important that those rhythms, when I give you a specific rhythm, that's because otherwise the opportunity can be taken advantage of. You must leave no gap. And if you leave a gap, you choose the gap, you leave. So that they, if they have any skill, they go, ha ha, a gap. And you go, yes, you play right into my trap. Ha ha. Okay. Again.